Ah, uh, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we are finally doing something that I think we have all been extremely anxious about. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, where we are finally putting back together the Cherry Max with all of the oh so beautiful paint match parts from our boy Sean at Peach Bottom Auto Body. We've got everything just waiting right here so impatiently. We've got our fender flares, our Morimoto painted fog lights, we've got our headlights that are cured and fully built, looking oh so good and oh so fingerprinty still. We've got our front bumper our back bumper, our grill, our canards, our tailgate handle, our gas cap, and well, a bunch of tools and time. My friends, we gotta get right to work on this thing because it's finally time to see this truck all come together. Three hours later and we are looking at a completely different truck right here in front of me guys back to my point I don't think I was personally ready to see this thing come together knowing how good it was going to look and it's actually exceeded my expectations and uh, the big question is in the blog right now are you guys ready to see it for yourself yeah yeah, yeah you guys are ready Oh man, without further ado, check her out. Just kidding, it's not completely done. The taillights are not at Peach Bottom right now, so we're gonna head down there in another day, in another vlog to get those. So the only component that's really missing on the back end are the taillights currently. You can see these still look great because of all this paint match perfection here on the back end. We still have to tighten up the bumper, which is why it looks like it's sagging so much, but that's really the only last thing that we have to knock out before we get this thing on the ground, which I'm so excited about. So bumpers are on, tailgate handle installed, D-badge thanks to our main man Brody over at Accelerate. We've got our fender flares installed. Gas cap will be going on soon. It's just that these have specific very large rivets that we don't have a rivet gun. So Sean at Peach Bottom is gonna help us out when we pick up our tail lights. Got our rock lights installed. As a special surprise to the Cherry Max, we decided to upgrade her suspension handling abilities with some Fox 2.0 external resis to replace the two O's that came on this thing. Maybe a little bit of an additional modification that wasn't really required, but I think it was kind of required. If it's not resis, it's not right. My man has so much sense. Coming around to the front of the truck is easily where I'm most proud of seeing this vision come to light, guys. It looks absolutely incredible. We've got our Magoy's upper control arms installed again. Fox resis up front. Fender flares on, wheels back on. And here's really where things start to take a beautiful change for the best, my friends. Can we just all take a minute to appreciate the new face of the Cherry Max? Freshly painted bumper from Sean, painted fog light housings, painted Morimoto fog lights to match. We've got our front valence smoothed and painted. Front grill has been repainted. Badge has been smoothed down and painted. It no longer has the texture just as a small little thing. And then we've got our brandy spanking new paint matched 1500 style headlights with switchbacks, black and red paint scheme looking fly as hell my friends we need to go tighten down the bumper real quick and then we're gonna get it down on the ground so you guys can actually see this thing for what it has to offer jake my friend if you wouldn't mind do us all a favor and do the honors my friends now i'm not gonna lie we've seen it once before just to validate that everything works but it's not gonna be as glorious as this very moment right now <laughs> oh boy, look at that.
all right, is it getting warm here in springtime or is it just the Cherry Max looking hot as ever? My goodness, guys, I'm speechless. I'm speechless on the vlog, which you can't really do because you have to talk on vlogs, but I'm, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little lack of wordy right now just because I feel like this truck speaks for itself and I don't have to say anything at all. Wow, guys, it has come such a long way with so many little things that was a lot of work, but just turned out looking oh so sick. You know, it's kind of funny how certain things happen for a reason, right? And I kind of want to just harp on this as a small little rant for one specific design idea I had for this truck that didn't work out, and that was the headlights. We wanted to initially keep the chrome, but then we decided to somewhat pivot on that just to change it up a little bit. The thought was that there's going to be a lot of chrome touches in the front of this truck between the grill, the trim and the fog light bezels, and the actual bumper insert itself. So the chrome in the headlights would have fit, but we also had the presence of black, and that's kind of what I wanted to play on a little bit with this design change because there's black behind the grill, there's black in the actual cowl hood, there's black in the pumper pad, and there's black in between the actual insert itself. And I'm really happy that I decided to kind of leave that in. It was an accident that ended up playing out really well. And it was actually this man's idea to just say, yo, let's go black with them rather than stay chrome. And for that, my friend, I commend you because dude, that is just a signature look that truly will never ever get old, ever. Oh my God. And you know what I really like most about it is the fact that when you look into the fascia of this thing, it seems like it's gonna eat your soul. It's almost demonic. It is somewhat devilish in a way. Oh my God. Do we rename the Cherry Max? Guys, y'all gotta decide. Drop some comments below. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna rename the Cherry Max Devil Max? Uh, I know, that's what I was trying to think of something. Should we name it Lucifer? Lucifer. Guys, Lucifer. Look at the truck. Just do it. Uh, oh my God, yo, the freaking, the vibes are real right now. Woo, walking around this thing, it's got the Magoy's powder coated upper control arm, box resis up front and in the back, glossy paint from our boy Brody at Accelerate. We've got the powder coated leaf springs chilling in the back, fresh bumper with bumper steps painted, deleted the GMC. Oh my God, the last thing that we need on the back here, boys, are some tail lights. Those tail lights are truly gonna complement this thing in so many different ways. And we are really going to play on that whole theme that we have with the lighting in the front in the back as well. And it is going to turn out so unbelievably sick. Oh, boys, today is such a satisfying day in the vlog without a question of a doubt. We really had to get a lot done because we actually have a massive mod that we're about to embark on later today that's going to be in another video, another time, another day in the week that we're going to actually start here in a few hours. We have to run out, but we had to get the truck ready to rock and roll specifically for this event because it's a very big deal. A lot of you guys had said that I shouldn't have done certain things with the truck when I first got it. I'm not going to imply really all that much other than the fact that I might have done some burnouts. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there for now because this next mod is a very, very big deal. I don't know, my friends, you guys said the Cherry Max and I completely bought into it because you all decided, but now is the rebranded Cherry Max Lucifer. I guess you guys are gonna have to comment below and let us know. I feel like it's very, very fitting for this truck to say the least. And the best part is, is from the outside, it looks equally as aggressive as what it has on the inside with that Duramax Tuner Stealth 64, one of the first in the entire country right here with enthusiast, my friends. So unfortunately, my time with you guys is somewhat limited today. I apologize for the somewhat shorter vlog format. It's just that, like I had mentioned, we got some really big things that we're about to embark on right now, which we're obviously bringing you along with, but we really Really kind of wanted to focus it on its own video. You'll see why. So you got some final big announcements here at the end of the vlog. Stay tuned for Dream Diesel giveaway number 17, where truthfully it's going to be the largest giveaway that we've ever done in the history of the 16 giveaways that are already completed. And I say that and I mean that in a lot of different ways. There are big changes coming to the storefront of enthusiasts that we're truly excited about bringing to you guys. And there are some other little secrets along the way that you guys are going to learn about soon. Thank you as always for following along with this YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and share if you haven't already. And boys, well, We'll see you all in the next upload, which you're not going to want to miss.